by now, you would have already understood that a database contains table spaces. Table spaces themselves are of different types. Let's look at what are the different types of table spaces. We have a system table space, we have a sysox table space, we have undo table space, temporary table space, and other table spaces that you as a DBA create to store application data or user data. Let's look at each one of them. System table space is generally the first table space that gets created when you create a database. What does it contain? It contains all the code, the code that comes with an Oracle database, like built-in functions, built-in packages, all of them are sitting inside that. Number two, it has got the data dictionary. What is a data dictionary? It's a bunch of views based on some internal tables which have data about the database. For example, you create read log groups, table spaces. That information has to be kept somewhere which is present inside the dictionary. Number two, you go and create objects like tables, indexes, procedures, functions. The definition of all this has to be kept somewhere. That's inside the dictionary. You create users, grant them privileges, who can access what, who can do what. All this is also kept inside the dictionary. Any other objects that you create, their metadata is also stored in the dictionary. The system table space is the most important table space in the Oracle database because it has information about the database itself. So its availability is very important for running of the database. Sysox table space. The Oracle database captures performance information in the form of metrics, snapshots, which are useful to go and drill down and understand what did the database do. Now this data is kept in a separate table space called as sysox. The basic idea is it could have been kept inside the system table space, but then the system table space will become very large. So what Oracle decided is, let me keep it in a separate table space so that the availability of that table space should not really affect the database. So system table space is critical, where a sysox table space, its availability is not going to affect the running of the database, but it has information about the performance metrics, which is in the form of an AWR, Automatic Workload Repository, stored in the sysox table space. So it's basically an auxiliary table space. Undo table space. Whenever a user performs a DML, till the time the user issues a commit, the user has the ability to do a rollback, which means the database should keep the old value somewhere for the DML that is kept in the undo table space. Also, when a user is performing a transaction, which is a bunch of DMLs, if some other user is going to query the same data, they would get read consistent value, meaning the last committed value is what they will see, for which undo table space would be used to get that data. So whenever users perform transactions, the old value is kept in the undo table space. There are other levels of read consistency also that can be configured, and there are certain that work by default. I will talk about read consistency specifically in another video, but understand undo table space contains the old values of DMLs that you make to provide for either a rollback for a user or for other users to see read consistent data. Temporary table spaces, as the name suggests, is useful for performing temporary operations. Now please note, a temporary table space is not temporary itself. The table space is always there. The contents in the temporary table space are temporary in nature. Let's take an example. If somebody wants to fetch data in an ordered manner by putting in an order by clause, or somebody wants to fetch 
distinct values from a table. These are examples where the data cannot be as such given back to the end user. Instead, there is some further processing that has to happen. And in order to do this further processing, the temporary table space could be put to use. There are also other kinds of operations that can happen, which are called as work areas, like a hash join, which has to happen, or when an index is being created, these all need some temporary work areas. Actually speaking, whenever such a temporary work area is to be used, the database generally uses the PGA. Remember, every server process has a program global area associated with it. Whenever the server process needs to perform a sort or a join, it generally tries to use the program global area. But what happens? Many a times, the amount of data that has to be worked upon is much larger than the amount of PGA available. Then the operation cannot be completed in memory. It needs to use the disk. Under such circumstances, the temporary table space is put to use. So the temporary table space is not temporary by itself. It's only that the contents are temporary. We don't need to store this work area, the rough work areas. We don't really need them. It is just for the purpose of that particular query or that particular transaction that we keep that data. <music> Lastly, we have user table spaces or application table spaces where your application data is going to be kept. So when you create a table, you need to specify in which table space it has to be stored. There comes user table spaces or application table spaces where your tables or your application tables store their data. That is your users or application table spaces. Now, whenever we create table spaces and then we create users, we can specify which user can use which table space, which comes under user management. We'll go to that later, but understand all other table spaces that you create in a database are used to store application data. To summarize, there are five types of table spaces. System table space, which contains the code that is supplied with the database, as well as the data dictionary. Number two, undo table space, which contains the old values of DMLs that you do. Number three, we have the SysOx table space, one of the primary Purposes of SysOx is to keep the performance data, which is otherwise called as the AWR or Automatic Workload Repository. Then we looked at temporary table spaces, the fourth type, which is about temporary operations. It's a temporary work area. And lastly, user table spaces or application table spaces where you want to keep your data.